Long ago and far away, before I started driving my extremely rare and valuable all-wheel drive Swedish drift rally car, I drove a red 1966 Barracuda. So one of my friends saw me in Denver this week and asked me how the Barracuda is doing. So we're going to take a look at it, hear it run, and uh, see just what's going on with it and get to take a little tour of it. So Grandpa's got it hidden in the garage and he still drives it. So let's listen to it run and then I'll tell you more about it. Little professional grade Bondo job there by Grandpa. That'll sand right out. Uh, found a tail light on eBay. Um, I don't know if you can tell because it's so clever, but this this is actually tape. This isn't the real lens. We put the tape on there to simulate the lens after the lens broke. Maximum security locking gas cap. Don't even try to, to uh, steal our gas. And it's cracking my Bondo job from the 80s. A uh, little, uh, you can't even detect this either, but we actually repaired the rust in this fender and then painted it with red rust-oleum, but uh, masterful job there. A little hit and run driver action here. Gloria got sideswiped and then the people took off. And the red velvet is a bit, bit, bit faded and rotten. The, up on the roof it still looks fantastic though. It's like a coffin. Uh, we got the old solid state AM radio with the built-in speaker. Got the gas pedal shaped like a foot. Put the pedal to the metal, good buddy. Um, various uh, extraneous wiring there. Um, somebody's disabled my death ray switch. Oh, the death ray switch doesn't work anymore. Big, beautiful glass back window in perfect condition. Survived many a hailstorm. This thing is, I don't know if it's bulletproof, but it's pretty close. The right, engine still runs and shakes and makes a lot of noise. This is a Frankenstein job. So this is a 360 cubic inch V8 out of a 1970s Barracuda. This engine is huge. It's huge. And that's a 67 Barracuda radiator. Um, we got this 66 Barracuda transmission in it. So I put in a second radiator in front of the first radiator running water through that so that we might uh, have proper cooling because this thing runs hot because it's so immensely powerful here's this is hard to see but you kids you can try this at home so the radiator overflow tank is actually an old bottle of oil see that you just punch a hole in the top of an oil bottle and use that as your overflow tank and so this is the car that will not die Barracuda.